Hello everybody, so today we're going to carry on with CAD query which is allowing us to make 3D models with Python, just Python code, so no expensive SolidWorks, AutoCAD, thousands of pounds 3D modeling software. This is a Python script and some free software called CAD query which uh, you need to get CAD query 2 and run it in Conda ideally, don't use pip. Uh, Pip will give you version 1 which was developed for FreeCAD. Anyway without further ado um, I've been learning some more of the syntax and I think I'm now ready to uh, create some code using CAD query in Python so what we're going to do is just make our example so we'll call it example 1 and the first thing we want to do is import CAD query as CQ so you'll always need to do that and nothing too scary or unusual there. Right, the next thing you need to do is if you're running this purely command line, which is the, pretty much the whole beauty and the power of this, uh, you want to export it. So to export it, you do from CAD query import, you got to exporters. So then we're ready to write our code, but, um, but any, just one thing I'm gonna do is, so that I don't forget, is I'm just gonna actually put the export part at the end. So, um, exporters.export, and then my variable that's gonna be the object which contains my actual model, um, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna call results, so then I'm gonna do result, and, you can call this anything, but so out but dot. Now I'm going to make it as a step file here today. I know I was doing STL files in the last video, and the STL video, <laughs> the STL files were very easy to preview. But today I want to preview what I make. I want to preview it using FreeCAD, and I'll explain why in a bit. But basically, it's because I'm going to be doing some more sophisticated shapes or more 3D shapes than just a piece of Lego um, really but the Lego the Lego model and some of the other examples um, really you didn't need to rotate and inspect any billets holes chamfers and so on okay so let's um, uh, let's just go up a bit from here and what I need to do is create some variables and also what I'm going to do um, I'm going to draw a shape it's very it's very much it's very um, it's much easier very easier <laughs> I need more I need more coffee from my tractor mug if you haven't got an old school retro mug I think you really need one in your life so what we do is we draw a shape and what you need to do is remember that naught naught is the origin and every what we're going to use in this tutorial is we're going to use polyline we're going to use extrude fillet and cut through wall probably so if you're new to cad a polyline is essentially a series of lines that follow on from each other so a sequence of lines consecutive lines and then you close them to form an enclosed shape and with that you can then uh, extrude or loft various different things so um, x this is just going to be a 2d shape we're going to draw because we're going to extrude it afterwards so x y is it not and on my graph paper i'm gonna each square is going to be what should we each square can be four that would work wouldn't it uh, if we do five squares, that takes to 20, 28. So that point is then 28 along and zero up. And then from there, I'm going to go, uh, let's go up 20. So that will be. Uh, 28 
comma 20. So I've done three lines so far. Don't know if that shows up on the screen. Um, each of these coordinates is going to be uh, a tuple in Python. And next I will come, let's come, I'm going to make some sort of triangle type shape. So um, next we'll come, come across. So we're coming back towards the origin, the X origin. So let's go across eight. And so that's going to be um, 20 comma 20. It's a bit like playing, it's a bit like, I'm not playing hangman. I hope that shows up okay. Um, in fact, let's start building it and then what I'll do is I'll just, um, that should, because we're doing a polyline, that should close because we've got the dot close command. Um, in fact, let's just make that shape to start with. So we should just end up with this shape. So I think we'll start from uh, um, basics. So what we could do is we could create, no we won't, we'll stick just with pure numbers to start with. And then what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll start swapping the numbers for variables because obviously that's where the power of this lies. Because if you want to make it parametric, you need to use uh, variables rather than just coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this um, ETS for points and it's a list of tuples. So the first one is naught comma naught and comma. The second one, uh, what did I do? 28 zero, 28 along, zero up, comma. And then the next one was 28, 20. And the next one was 20, 20. And yeah, then I just closed it. So then we could just do a <laughs> close the bracket. And really that's just a list of tuples describing our shape, which is, um, is that trapezium? I don't know. Anyway, result so we'll create an object which or variable which is the um what we've the model that we end up with so uh cq which is cad query work plane with a capital w and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the front um you can also call this um x y um y z or x z depending on which face you want. Um, typically you'll start with the front. So when you're modeling, you've got a choice of three, uh, three dimensions to three planes to draw your model on. Uh, CAD query uses planes. If you're not familiar with 3D modeling, basically the plane is either X, Y, or Z. Um, as your first dimension and then obviously you unspecify your second dimension because you're drawing in two dimensions even though you're 3d modeling if that makes sense so then we so we, we've chosen our plane then we do polyline um and then pts which is a list of tuples and then we do dot close because we want to close the polyline to form an enclosed shape because then we can extrude it and then we will do extrude and then we can specify the, the thickness to extrude it by. So that's how thick. Uh, imagine if you start off with just a, a flat object and then extrude it. So it's how much you want to give it some thickness by. Yeah, extrude equals thickness. Um, let's actually, I think we can make that now already. So. Um, Let's do, we need to do Python 3.8. You must use Python 3.8. If you try 3.96, you'll get installation errors with CAD query. Um, there we go. 
So that's made a step file, STEP. Now, if you're familiar with 3D printing, you may be, you may be more familiar with STL files. Step files um, are solid, solid models. So the reason I'm doing this is because it will it'll look better when we open it in FreeCAD and, and we've still got the option to then export it in. Uh, so what was it? What was my output file called? I think it was. Um, <laughs> let's just see what it was called. It began with O, didn't it? Out P, out P dot step. So if we do three. Or ECAD. And then we. So with FreeCAD, you can open a step file directly. So FreeCAD out p dot step. Ah, FreeCAD not found. Is it because I've used case? Yeah. I've got a, um, a Fedora laptop, and on that, you need to. Is case sensitive. Right, so it's open on the other screen. I've just, I didn't have this open already, honestly. <laughs> uh, VF gives you view full. And hopefully, if I show you this, that I, what I drew, is that in focus? Hopefully. That's what I drew on my notepad. And this is what, if I just rotate it, this is what we've actually got. So yeah, nothing over uh, over complicated. So let's close that and let's clear and let's go back into our file and let's add some more points and then we'll do some more operations on it. So. Um, Rather than just the uh, the boring triangle, what we'll do is we'll do an extra um, we'll do an extra point on it. So I'm adding a point here and a point there. So um, if I get my highlighter pen, you'll see there and there. So the new shape should be. as per that. So I've, all I've done is I've taken a bite out of the uh, triangle shape. So let me just look on my squared graph paper. And that's the beauty of doing it on, uh, on some squared paper. So the next point after 2020 actually needs to come down by eight. So that's actually going to be 12 up. And so it's going to be 20 along, 20, 12. And then we're going to come back, and it's going to be come back by 8. And then that's going to be 12, 12. Um, I, I know it's, hot, it's difficult to follow someone else's work, but um, if, as soon as you, you start sketching it yourself on, a, on some squared paper, it, it really makes sense. So um, after 2020, um, so let's do, uh, we want 20 along, 12 up, and really this is the best way to learn, um, learn this software because you, you can't really just, um, hack away at it and just make shapes because you'll end up with all sorts of shapes. You need to draw something and then deliberately reproduce what you've drawn. Um, I don't want to, I hope I'm not teaching anybody to suck, suck eggs, but um. Right, Python 3.8 ex onepy I know this is quite a slow process and you can also use um, CQ editor, CAD query editor. But again, I had some issues installing that on my Fedora machine, so I thought what I'd do is just keep this really minimalist and um, 
there we go so compare that with the previous model and again i've produced what i drew so next let's um we know that we can use so actually just to clarify each of the coordinates is um relative to zero and a polyline will join them up in the sequence that you list them so let me explain what i mean i'll just rotate that just so you it was still 3d look um so if we go in here in fact i'll do this just to prove the point so um if i swapped the if i swapped 2020 and 2012 around we'll end up with a horrible shape so even though the coordinates are, we've still got the same coordinates in our file when i make the model the polyline follows the sequence that the coordinates were entered if that makes sense um so we'll end up with a, a, a some sort of weird shape which so it's very important to add coordinates in the sequence that you imagine if you were using um in a sketch <laughs> yeah that's gone crazy so um although i've got the same coordinates that i had before because the coordinates i swapped to the coordinates round is made an unpredictable shape um so let's go back and we'll just swap those back around again. That can be 20. That's 12. Right, so that's given us, that's taken us back to the, the previous shape, which was that one. And now what we want to do is do some additional operations. So um, just on this model, before we get more, uh, more sophisticated, what we'll do is um, let's add a fillet. So we'll do fillet. And I'm not sure what radius is going to work on this, but let's just try um let's try two ah. uh, two and this will look a lot nicer this for anybody who's used free cad or is used to solid modeling you know that real life thing oh what's going on here Ah. Command not done. Is that because the fillet was wrong? Um, I'm just going to look at an old example. Maybe the fillet is too big. that's better so yeah just beware that if you specify even if you were doing this with uh, some solid modeling software if you put in a fillet that was too big you would probably break your model um, fillets can only work when there's material there to fill it um, let's open the model back up in CAD and we should see something a bit more rounded uh, 
and there we go so already you can see let's just do a vf view full and there we have it look we've all around the object we've got some nice fillets see how it's rounded the corners um i think that's pretty that's nice so let's just close that and so we've covered um, fillets, polylines, extrude. So already we've covered three things, so this is good. Um, one last thing I think we'll do for now, for this video. I wanna keep this relatively short and user friendly. So one last thing is we'll just go and add it, add, added. We'll go and add. Um, uh, we'll drill a hole. We'll drill a th hole through our our um, strange sort of trapezoid shape. So um, uh, I think we just use the circle command. I think from from my notes. Let's just try and add that. So. Uh, so after close here, I'm just going to put in dot circle dot and what uh, I can't remember if this is a diameter or the radius. Mm. Let's put two just to be on the safe side and quit that. Uh, we'll process it with Python, make our step file and FreeCAD open and let's see what we've got if we have indeed got additional hole yes so there we go all i did was add a dot circle and with two in brackets and i believe that if you don't specify the x y position of the center of the hole the center of the circle it will put it in the center of the body that makes sense so i think that's actually equivalent to what we would probably call the center of gravity um don't quote me on that but i think that's what it's done so because if you imagine if you put your stick through there and held it it would be quite well balanced i think that would kind of be the center of mass i believe it's center of mass let's just um Ah, oh, let's should we check that? Uh just bear with me and it'd be good just to confirm that. CAD query circle command. CAD query Um be careful because sometimes you'll get the documents for version one uh, control f circle circles are peculiar they have a single vertex at the center um Yeah, so with a circle, you can specify, uh, you got countable hole as well. Um, yeah, I know if you create the circles in the, on, a, on a square, it puts them bang in the middle. Uh, Yeah, I, uh, I'm, you're welcome to explore the documentation. So, CAD query. Um, I think I read somewhere that it puts circles in the center of the graphic center of mass center of um, circle. Um, CAD query concepts. Let's try the examples again. Yeah, I showed these the other day, so I won't go over old ground, but. Um, 
pointless polygons polylines so yeah what we've covered here we've covered polylines allows creating a shape from a large number of chained points connected by lines the, that's a nicer description than i came up with um so yeah there we go that's um i think that's uh, with, I, i'm not going to find that right now so anyway that's how you use cad query um to make a 3d model purely with python code so although i've opened this in freecad this actually is um a step file which is um i wonder if we can read it uh cut out p step yes there we go so step file you can actually read um as a text file which is nice and look how many lines two two thousand two hundred and twenty lines which really is just describing that pretty basic shape so it's doing a lot of work and that's the power of it because with my code or with cad query python and python you can um yeah 200 2220 and, and so and 220 so each line is an end um so you make 2220 um entities or kind of described that amount of features with really one list and one line of code so i think that's brilliant and um yeah there's plenty more mileage left in this so for the time being um i'd like thank you for watching please subscribe if you like these videos and try to see beyond the kind of the beginnerness the beginner nature of these videos because the power that one line of code here can unleash as you just saw 2220 entities so if you want to do game programming 3d printing cnc machining just well yeah the world's your oyster isn't it so thanks